Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are, and welcome back to another episode on the Annoy Dad channel. As you can see, today we are pointing the camera at the Brincy Incubator. Uh, now this is a Brincy we brought last year, I think it was, and uh, you can see that there are some chicks in there. Just before we do go on, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, no you can't, but we will cover it, the fan. Let's just say the fan. Very expensive incubator, very cheap fan. Not happy at all. So this is our last hatch in here uh, for this year. And this might well be going back to Brincy if it's under any sort of like a guarantee still, if I can still do that. So you can see we've got some chicks in here. And the reason why I'm doing this video, uh, because I don't normally do them when we lift out chicks out of the incubators, but the reason why I'm doing it now is because we don't know what these chicks are. These chicks have come from the chickens that are in our orchard, which if you saw our recent update, um, we have got a total mix match of absolutely everything in there. So it's going to be interesting to see what these are because the chicken started laying and I was a bit like, ooh, I wonder what they are. So let's grab, so let's move this over to the table near the brooder and then we'll grab them out and we'll have a look and we will see what we've got. Okay, so as said, we've got no idea what's in here. So let's just lift off the lid and we will take a look. Oh, wow. oh, oh yep, yeah, straight away. See, we've got one here with splayed leg. Uh, that may write itself, that may not. And all of them are little black things. Right, so let's take a look, shall we, and see what we've got. So... Where I say the wife's got those horrible naked neck ones, that's one. Look how tiny it is. To give you an idea of size, uh, let's grab the pepper pot. There you go. So there's a pepper pot compared to the. Oop, ease off. They are tiny, tiny, tiny little things. Really, really small. So let's start placing them into the brooder. Looks like it's cost That one's pee. naked neck as well. Two. Let's take a look. I think they're all going to be naked next by the look of this. You see that one? I think some of these are cross silky. <laughs> I have got someone stood next to me. They're meant to be helping me, but they're just. <laughs> but, but they just stood there saying, oh, look, they're cross silkies. So this one here isn't a naked neck, which is good. So that means it might go off and be something else. How many is that? Four. Oh. That's number five. That one there is a naked neck. But again, they're so tiny. Look at that. Look this way, chicken. There we go. Number six. Okay, the wife's just taken number seven. Oh, good, beautiful. There's number eight. Number nine, wife's well, just got number ten. And then we've got eleven. God blame, he's a dinky dinky. Twelve. Let's have a look at you, lovely. Thirteen, wife's well, got fourteen. 15. Oh. I think we're going to have to... Number 16. Thank you. And 17. Well, we did have 20 eggs in there. So getting 17 hatch is uh, quite well. So this one here also, again, it's all black, but it's got a bit of a yellow bum, as if it were. So, uh, yeah, there should be three eggs left in that oh that one is yep you see how it's still trying still trying to hatch itself out so that might have got a bit stuck so we'll just leave that one there for a second that one there okay, three. that's another one that's trying so these guys have been left for two days after they've hatched so what i'm going to do and that one there there's nothing on that one there Okay, so what I'm going to do, because these guys should have got a lot further forward than what they actually are, I'm just going to step in. I don't normally step in, I don't like to step in, but because these guys are being very slow, 
I am going to step in. So what I will do is I will just start it off and get it going a little bit more than what it was, like that. Just do the same with the other one. Yeah, you can see where it started, and then the, I don't know the name of it, the little bit on the inside of the egg, just got a bit hard around where it is, and then it just can't do it anymore. So it's probably knackered. It's exhausted, and it's like, oh. It's more than like, isn't it? Right, okay, so what we'll do is we'll leave them like that. I don't mind leaving everything else within there. Uh, actually, I can grab that all out now. And then I'll whack the incubator back up there. And I'll give these guys a good couple of hours to then hatch themselves out. And we'll see where we're up to. But as I was saying about the fan, the fan either isn't spinning or it is spinning. Oh, you can't see it. It's, it either isn't spinning or it's spinning incredibly slowly. It's one or the other with this at the minute. So um, I'm not very happy at all with it. But let's get these guys back up, back in the warm. And we will cut back in in just a minute and we will see how they got on. Right, so we recorded that bit uh, last night. It was about eight o'clock last night that we recorded that bit of just helping out those two little chicks. And now it's about one o'clock the day afterwards and it's the first opportunity I've had to be able to bring the incubator over, open it up and see what we got, see what we helped to hatch. Now, I will just say that that was on day number three um, after the first ones had hatched. So we really did need to get in there and do something. So you can see from the 20 eggs that went into lockdown, that other one still hasn't done anything. So I presume that's not going to do anything. And we are left with two little chirpers both of whom we helped out the shells. So let's take a look. See this one here, that's a naked neck. See that? So that's gonna grow up to be like those ugly things that the wife seems to like. And the other one we helped out, it's so dinky. It's tiny, they are so light, it's unbelievable. Look at that, just sat in my big hands. Like I know we've already given you one idea of scale, but if I do it next to, next to daddy's brown sauce, you can see that the cap on it is actually bigger than the bird itself. So, as I said, we had no idea what these were going to be. These were just eggs that came out of the orchard. And they were the chicks that were, um, that they were offered the birds that have come off of various hatches from where the wife has brought them in various places. And we still don't really have any idea what they're going to turn out to be. Oh dear, he's not happy, he wants to get back in the warm. See his friend again. You hear them talking to each other. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do hit the subscribe button if you have not already done so. Hit the like button, leave us a comment down below. Tell us, what do you think of these chicks? What should we do with them for the future? My plan is just to sell them because we've got plenty of other breeding stock kicking around so I just want to get rid get them gone and move on to something else but uh, yeah leave us a comment down below what would you do if you had 19 little tiny things hatch out like this what would you do with them and until the next video bye bye